Love one, welcome to the channel. On today's show and tell, I have a Ruger American Rimfire. I'm going to give this video a clickbaity title. One reason why the Ruger American Rimfire is better than Ruger 1022. And that's just going to come down to being able to shoot subsonic ammo reliably. The Ruger 1022 cannot do that. I recently put a video talking about how great the Ruger 1022 is. I did not talk about any of its shortcomings. I just talked about all the positives that it is affordable reliable accurate and there's endless aftermarket options as far as switching out every single part on this rifle but it can't shoot subsonic ammo reliably when i'm talking about subsonic ammo it's ammo that's slower than 1100 feet per second this is technically subsonic but it will cycle reliably through ruger 1022 going slower to this that is rated at 710 feet per second it will not cycle reliably but it will through a Ruger American Rimfire, or I suppose other bolt actions, lever actions, pump actions, because it is a manual action. You're going to be able to manually run it to make it cycle correctly. And for the most part, why you would want subsonic ammo, it can be more consistent, tight of groups at 25, 50 yards, uh, stepping out to 100 yards. There is a slight drop when deflection in any ammo you pick, so there's more variables. But shorter distances, um, you're getting tighter groups. That's basically... I suppose why you would want subsonic over supersonic ammo in that application that could be for small game for just target shooting stuff like that and i am aware there are aftermarket options as far as switching out the spring to make it cycle subsonic ammo but i haven't tried any of those out so i can't really speak to that i just know they're out there and yeah that is one reason just you know um you can cycle subsonic ammo and it's slightly more accurate than a ruger 1022 i do plan to put out more videos um, with different ammo, shooting groups with this rifle and other Rimfire 22 allow rifles in the near future. But yeah, I'm going to keep this video short. That is it. I plan to put out more range videos um, with this rifle in the near future. That is it. Thank you guys for watching. Have a good one.